Good evening, friends. Welcome back to my channel, Infinite Trade. My name is Robin, and let's do a Nifty and Bank Nifty analysis for tomorrow. So, to keep this video short and simple, I'm not covering the weekly analysis. Let me see if I can do it in the tomorrow's video. If at all the data is uh, lesser to explain. Okay. But anyway, just to let you all know that the head and shoulder pattern has been confirmed, and we have broke that particular neckline. So let's see what can happen the next. So uh, we saw a tremendous fall uh, on the 24th of Feb, but immediately the next day we opened gap up. And so for now, this particular low that we hit in FT and Bank Nifty is going to be a short term low. Uh, so this is something which we have to keep in mind. So when I mean to say short term low, what is that? Uh, let me just show you all if we have to go on a longer time frame so let me just put this into an hourly chart see the first time when we made a low of 16400 uh, we immediately opened gap up and then we saw that the market showed a very good rally so we can see such a, a structure even after making this particular low okay so though there is uncertainty around the markets but uh, if we look at the historical pattern it looks like you know we may go upside and then maybe in after a couple of months or something we can come back down again okay so overall the structure of the market it looks like a supply zone and you know i still believe that uh, the targets of 15400 and 15000 is still remaining in nifty we may see that uh, sooner or later yes but then you know uh, market every time gives chance to investor to at least do a very good or very big swing trading okay so now let's quickly discuss what can we expect tomorrow so first let's quickly discuss the participant wise OI see the data uh, since that fall uh, we have been seeing that in the index or in the derivative segment FIIs are taking strong bullish positions so look at this uh, futures are long about 11,400 and we can see a huge number of short positions being closed from the FIIs okay so this is a positive sentiment and if you look at the call options uh, so net by is around 23,000 and we can see about 52,000 put sell so it indicates strong bullishness and similar uh, position has been created by pros as well so 35,000 long call and 16,000 short put okay so this particular data that is participant wise oi indicates bullishness it indicates gap up opening uh, a lot of things so completely bullish okay so what should be our plan so let's look at nifty i'm not discussing option chain for today uh, because that data might confuse us and we'll look at the option chain from tomorrow once the position starts building up okay so right now for nifty we have a resistance at 16700 and support at 16600 so what should be our plan so in case if we open flat or within this range so till the time this particular range is not broken out on either side so this area remains a no trade zone so why a no trade zone like uh, on friday it continuously spent time within this 100 points range so it may continue to do that and unnecessarily you know an option buyer can get into trouble so we'll only trade once this level breaks out so if you open flat and if we break on the upper side uh, it is a very good option to buy a call here okay 
and in case if it opens flat and if it comes down okay wait for a reversal candle here we are not going to buy a put option here looking at the data because the data is completely bullish okay so i leave this level breaks what will happen is it can fall up to this level okay but what we are going to do is in case uh, you know at this place we'll see a reversal candle and maybe we can put a small stop loss and buy a call option here and then see if we can break out this level and rise up further okay but in case if the stop loss gets hit uh, will not do anything will not even buy put uh, for this level but uh, why i'm saying that the only reason is a lot of time what happens is the market may break the structure and you know it can give a dip like this and then it can reverse and then go up like this so what happens is if we buy a call definitely the sl gets hit and if we buy a put that time also our sl gets hit so we don't want to give two sls so what should be our plan is in case if it is coming down below that's okay but then if it is coming up and forming an higher high or higher low kind of price action then we can think of a re-entry on the call side but at least for the first half of tomorrow uh, we'll only apply, uh, plan to buy call options but we need a dip for that so keep this in mind so what if we open gap up so if it is a very big gap up say it is opening around 6900 then i think uh, here we can wait for a reversal candle and then take a put entry here but uh, we will not expect a fall until this place but we'll try and exit somewhere close to 16 uh, 7 30 or something like that so around this area okay because it may take support here and then do sideways for the entire day so this is where we'll buy a put option that is at 16922 okay and if you open gap up say around 16800 then we'll wait for a dip if that dip comes here okay so the best thing would be a dip here and then crossing this place immediately then here we can buy a call option our target will be 6920 and then 17000 eventually but a dip so far can then put the market into sideways again so here maybe you can buy a call option but you will have to book it here because then it will uh, you know do some consolidation here so a small gap up uh, may confuse us so keep that in mind so now let's discuss bank nifty so bank nifty is also in a similar area so if we this particular place remains no trade zone and if we break out say if candle closes above 36 7 20 then we can buy a call option and our first target would be somewhere close to 37 050 okay a good 200 to 50 points rally and in case if we open gap up say somewhere near to 37 thousand we'll wait for a dip and then Again, when it crosses above 36,720 is when we'll buy a call, okay? And then we can expect a target of 3,700 to 37,200 also. In case this level breaks, uh, same, uh, you know, with respect to data, no suggestion of put buying in here because definitely market may find support anywhere looking at the size of the positions so please be careful to buy a put until and unless it's not a very big gap up so in bank nifty if we see a gap up around 
37 200 or something and if you see a reversal candle then you can buy a put option here but no put suggested on the lower side so this is my view on nifty and bank nifty i hope you all enjoyed it please do subscribe the channel and share it with your family and friends let's meet in another video till then take care bye bye